here, which is around the corner from my house in Germantown. There it is. It's that brick building right up. This is my studio building. I'm on the third floor. And it's right across the street from Pastorius Community Gardens where I participate and have a garden bed. And the garden is about five years old now. Fruit trees. And probably about 20 gardeners collectively working on vegetables. And this is my garden bed. I have sunflowers, collard greens, rhubarb tomatoes, garlic, basil, kale, peas, and a couple other herbs. I share space with four other artists. A painter works there. Another photographer is here. Another painter is here. This is where I work. The space is long and we have it divided out. And my daughter works here. And the sculptor works over here. We have lots of natural light the whole way through. And that's why we picked this space. Right now I'm working on a project photographing a devil's pool in the Wissahickon Park. It's a swimming hole in Philadelphia where people come from all over to revel in the natural setting, to be in their bodies, and collectively share in nature. And my work is really about a human impulse or need to connect with the natural world and the landscape even in the middle of a city. I hiked to Devil's Pool with my camera and spend a bunch of hours there, soaking it all in. I photograph, I listen, I talk to people, I climb up high, I get into the water, I wade, and I just try to absorb it all and observe and make images while I do that. I have these giant photographs hanging around that are left from an exhibition at Bowdoin College. They're 50 by 50 inches. And I have them up here still to look at and think about. While I work on a book project that's set to be published in the fall of 2021. These giant prints are adhered directly to the wall with adhesive they're part of an installation that I did at Bowdoin College where the prints filled the room and really created an environment that you could walk into as a viewer. So they're stuck here, so. They're not um, precious prints to me anymore. Next to that one, I have a framed photograph uh, that I'll show you that I'm keeping protected from the dust and the light, which can both of those can damage the work. I've been photographing at Devil's Pool for a few years now, and I'm currently going through all of the work and making an edit and a sequence, collecting them together and deciding what will go into my book project. 
So I have hundreds of these small prints that I make um, and that helps me look at them and figure out the order they should go in, which ones will make it into the book project or into an exhibition, um, and which ones won't. As I work on the book project, I'm making these mock-ups where I sequence the photographs in a particular order and then sit with it for a while and think about how they work together. And there's a lot of nuance to me that will go into each decision about what comes after what. And that will really affect how the book speaks and the experience of moving through a book for a viewer. This is looking through the ground glass of my camera. It's a Rolleiflex. It's a twin lens reflex. I use color film and it's about 50 years old. This is a negative. It's part of a sheet of 12. So I get 12 images per roll of film. And if I'm lucky, one of them comes out in a way that I'm happy with.